Uh, I'm, I'm Badri Rajshrekar from Talkbox, and I have here uh, Oscar Devora as well. And one of the things we're constantly trying to do from Talkbox's perspective as a platform is to enable new and interesting use cases um, in, in various uh, sort of various verticals. And one of the areas which we're sort of very, fo very focused on is mobile applications. And based on a lot of feedback from partners, what we'd like to announce today uh, is a, a new feature called a video driver. Essentially, there's a whole bunch of very interesting use cases like you just saw in terms of facial detection, in terms of being able to close caption, uh, being able to sort of pre and post process uh, all of the images and the video you get uh, from, a, from a native mobile device. And one of the things we have announced today uh, in terms of full support in our mobile SDK is the ability to actually capture and manipulate video uh, from the mobile device itself. And this applies both to the pre and the post processing phase, uh, which includes data which is coming from a camera or data which is being played out uh, in a subscriber. And at a very high level, this, this offers a whole host of very interesting possibilities. Uh, and f facial detection, uh, whether it's video injection, uh, whether it's the ability to sort of dynamically inject um, a, a piece of uh, ad or a, or a video statement. Uh, it's, you could even pause the video and take um, pictures, high resolution pictures on the live video stream. There's a whole bunch of very interesting use cases uh, which we think this will sort of open up in the, in the mobile uh, application space. So from that point of view, we're going to quickly uh, jump into a, a, a demo. And what I have here is a very simple uh, WebRTC application. And Oscar here is going to join this very simple WebRTC application from his native um, iOS device. This is just a regular iPad, uh, which is sort of streaming video. Both of us are talking to each other. And what I'm going to do is ask Oscar to actually enable our sort of uh, video injection capability. And once he does that, what this enables you to do is to be able to dynamically inject any sort of stream. Um, and there you go. Um, apparently, Oscar likes to uh, see videos of cats playing pianos. But what this is is essentially that same device, which is pumping a video stream from the camera, got intercepted. And you could pump any arbitrary uh, signal into this application. So as you can imagine, there's a whole host of pre and post processing uh, you were able to do with a native mobile application. Um, since this is sort of an interesting use case, um, we also have a quick video to show you potentially what sorts of pre and post processing you can, you can do with this feature. Here, um, Oscar is basically connecting to a simple um, video call uh, on the browser. He's got a Samsung uh, device, which has a native app and is essentially connecting to that same call. And as you can see, it's a full four-way call uh, from both sides. Uh, very soon, audio will, Oscar will basically turn on uh, the, the pre-processing and the post-processing functionality. And you can introduce all sorts of like, useful effects uh, into your video stream. As you can see, he inverted all of his colors. This is that exact same video call where the video driver, you were able to sort of intercept all of the data coming out of the microphone and sort of add intelligent processing to it. And if you notice, both the publisher sites actually have pre and post processing sort of inbuilt into it, whereas the subscribers, you can choose to subscribe to a regular video feed. So from that point of view, I think this introduces a whole host of very interesting uh, functionality uh, which can be implemented. For instance, uh, we really think this is sort of the tip of the iceberg in terms of all of the features which, which these sorts of um, a functionality can enable. Uh, in fact, one of our partners is building a very interesting application where they're using a microscope as an input device. And essentially what you can do is connect the microscope uh, as an input device to a, a mobile tablet, let's say an iPad, and you could dynamically switch between the feed coming in from the microscope uh, to a live feed. Let's, let's say the doctor is actually looking at uh, and is talking to you, 
you can dynamically switch um, sort of the media, video stream which is being relayed um, to the end user. So that is sort of a small facet of what we've introduced today. Uh, we really believe, uh, we hope that you know, all, of, all of the developers will come up with like, new and exciting use cases and applications built on, on top of this. Thank you.